deadliest river animals in the world. I don't know why I said that with an Australian accent. Deadliest river animals in the world? That was worse. You get it. For those of us who don't like the beach because of how dangerous it is, rivers are quiet, calm places where we can go to relax. No one but thinks that. Really a safe no one thinks that. No one's like, man, I hate the beach. Let me go sit by a fucking river. As they seem, in this video, we're taking a look at 10 That's of the deadliest river eel. animals in the world. He's saying no. the deadliest river animals in the world and showing a video of a moray eel. In this video. <laughs> ah, yes, the river moray eel. Number 11. Bull shark. Bull shark. How is that the now, number 11? Exactly Should be number how a one. Shark would make its way into the river. Think about it. Would you ever imagine coming across a full size shark while canoeing in a river? No. But hey, stranger Wait, yes. things have happened. Wait, Bull no. Sharks can attack animals and humans of what just about any about? size because of their strength. These fish generally grow up to about 7.5 feet and weigh up to 285 pounds with a large appetite and, of course, an extreme temper. Number 10. Okay, re remember all of the really good reasons that he just gave, and that was number 11. So you should expect everything after this to be better. Snakehead fish. Not more dangerous than a Killer fucking bull shark. Are some of the most, most snakehead fish will stay away from humans unless wow. they go into defense mode when they still feel like their safety is Dude, they're so breached. cool. The giant snakehead fish is one I wish they weren't invasive. They're so species cool. Species of this family that doesn't think twice before being aggressive and biting humans if they get too close. I guess he's not going to explain this video. They can they can crawl across land. That's why they're so fucking crazy at invading new areas. Cuz they'll just hop out of the water and then fucking walk across the land to another pond. And if the bite isn't bad enough, the snakehead fish also contains all kinds of bacteria that can cause horrible infections. Before we move on. So does everything. So the bite's not that dangerous and maybe could cause infection. Literally any bite from any animal can cause infection. How is that above a fucking bull shark? A speed challenge for you. The Mata Mata Turtle. Mata Mata Turtle. What is Turtles this? Turtles are as harmless as aquatic creatures come. That's right? a sea turtle. Well, not if the turtle is a Mata Mata. Despite their small bodies that make them look like any other ordinary turtle minding their own business. But with their leaf-shaped heads and bodies <laughs> that resemble rock. Look at his fucking face. Looking for any animals that they can prey on. Number eight. What? He never said why it was dangerous. Is it just a normal turtle with a fucking dumb looking nose? I thought he was going to be like, it has venom or it has a crazy bite. When diving boat spiders are minding their own business. Yeah, this is fucked up. If they're up. ever provoked, just know that you're in for a really painful time. I used to be terrified of spiders and then I took an invertebrate zoology class and I had to work with spiders a lot. And I like slowly became more and more familiar with spiders and like stopped seeing them as dangerous and like become less afraid but this this is fucked up <laughs> number seven river wolf okay it's just also not a as chill. the sovereign river water river wolves are found in the amazon river where people run away as soon as they decide to leave water and jump <laughs> on the land look at the way this dude's running found in the amazon river uh, where i love people the run stock footage as soon as they decide homies in vans just like lightly walking through his backyard i had to leave water and jump on the land River wolves are extremely territorial, and they will not hesitate before attacking any human. I really like that he keeps calling invaded. them river wolves instead of just otters. Even going as far as to chase them down to bite them multiple times. Number six, piranha. Number six, bullshit. Piranhas are not dangerous. Piranhas has extremely sharp teeth and bad tempers, which does not make for a good combination. How do piranhas they have bad tempers? Piranhas are bitch made. Let me, as someone who has worked with and been around piranhas, let me tell you, piranhas are bitch made. They are the most scaredy cat fish I have ever worked with. Okay, that's not true, but they are very scared. They like hate anything new coming into the water. They hate foreign objects and like fucking novel stimuli. They're only confident when they're in large groups. And even then they're not confident enough to actually attack something. They just eat dead stuff. Freshwater stingray. This dude is literally hand feeding it in the clip that you're showing. How? How is it possibly dangerous when that dude literally just stuck his hand in his mouth? These fish bury themselves deep underwater so they can sneak up on their prey with They're so them cute. They Why do stingrays have to get such a bad reputation? Poison, and a stinger as long as 15 inches along with the ability to give electric shocks to their prey and stun them. Which means that they definitely As that dude literally just grabs it and caresses it. It's so dangerous and deadly and venomous and electric and what else could it be? It shoots fucking lasers and uh, ability to give their enemies some pretty nasty bites. 
Number four, anacondas. Fair enough. Contrary to popular belief, anacondas aren't venomous. <laughs> they use pure strength to he capture- He did just say sea creatures when talking about a freshwater, uh, when he's talking about river animals. Restrain their pay. Number three, Jesus Nile Christ. crocodile. The Fair river enough. Nile is full of some of the most dangerous kinds of- Do not fear crocodiles, but respect crocodiles. Crocodiles. That is my they motto. They lie at the top of the food chain and are extremely fuck aggressive. With them, but you don't need to- taking... Don't fuck with them, but you don't need to fuck with them. You know what I mean? Don't fuck with them, but don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with them, but don't fuck with them. These I maybe get it. Okay, let me explain it better. Don't fuck with them. Don't get involved. Don't, you know, touch them and do shit around them. You know, don't fuck with them. But don't fuck with them. Don't, like, kill them for no reason or, like, destroy their habitats. You know, don't fuck with them, but don't fuck with them. You get it. Number two. Fair enough. Electrophorus electricus. Is that a moray eel? <laughs> Is he talking about electric eels and then showing a moray eel? <laughs> okay. Well, isn't that name a mouthful? What makes these fish special is that they protect and defend themselves by generating huge bursts of electricity to shock anyone what is this or shitty anything ass that video? tries to harm them. That's a Ganamora eel. This dude cannot tell the difference, which is crazy because they don't even look remotely alike. Or invade their space, no matter what their size is. So the next time you're out for a fun day by the river, make sure to look out for any eels that might be out to get you. Yeah, next time you're just like chilling in a river... And fucking where are they? South America? Just, yeah, make sure that they don't, you don't run into some electric catfish. <laughs> the beach eel. Number one, vampire fish. Oh, thank you. The vampire fish is a nickname for the payara fish found in the Amazon basin and in freshwater bodies in Peru. Yeah, fuck These that. fish hold the reputation for being even deadlier than the piranhas because of fuck their extremely that. sharp jaws that they use to impale their prey. These fish grow up to four feet in size and are capable of preying on creatures much larger than their own selves. Their teeth alone can grow up to be six inches. Jesus Christ, get me off of it. Yeah, the Pyara does have those cool-ass holes that the teeth go into. But yeah, fair enough on the Pyara. Oh.